Okay, so in today's video, which I am very excited about, we are finally going to introduce our very first market structure, which is perfect competition. And essentially what we will be doing over the course of the next couple of videos is to talk about some different structures markets can take, what they look like, and what each of their unique characteristics are. Now, I'll first lay out the characteristics of a perfectly competitive market. You'll need to memorize these for your exams, and one way, one memory trick that I also used to remember them is always asking yourself what makes things more competitive. So, starting with condition number one, which is number of firms. And in a perfect competition, we have very many firms producing the same good. Now, more firms essentially means more competitors, right? So this condition is in line with us trying to figure out which conditions makes the market more competitive. The second condition is no differentiation. And by that, I mean no differentiation in the goods that these very many firms produce. Every firm in a perfectly competitive market produces identical goods. Because just imagine here that if firm D suddenly had differentiated polka dot goods, now people have a reason to prefer firm D's goods over everyone else's, and there's less competition for firm D. We want all firms to be competing against each other with the same good to have maximum competition. The third condition is low barriers to entry and exit. And that means low barriers when entering or exiting the market. Meaning, how easy is it for you to become a producer in this market or leave when you no longer want to be? And I'll just use two small examples to illustrate this idea. Let's say that there are two markets. Um, a market for computers and a market for lemonade. Unless you are someone already selling either of those, how easy would you imagine it is for you to start selling them? Well, for lemonade, you don't really need a whole lot of skill or equipment. You just need to go buy some lemons and then squeeze them. But what about a computer? You need a lot more skill, perhaps a factory to produce all the parts, and also the knowledge needed to assemble them. And these two show the differences between a lower and higher barrier to entry. With computers having a higher and Lemonade having a lower barrier to entry. In a perfectly competitive market would have low barriers to entry so that whenever it seems like people can make money in this market, new people can easily join in and become producers. And when we have more producers, we have more competitors, and again, more competition. The last condition in this market is perfect information. How transparent is the information in the market? And I'll continue on with the lemonade example to illustrate why perfect information allows for greater competition. So one of the conditions of a perfectly competitive market was no differentiation, that all the products were exactly the same. And perfect information first allows the consumers to know well enough about all the products to know that not one is really better than the other. Another thing is that with all the goods being the same, firms should have little market power, right? They shouldn't be able to set whatever price. So they all have to charge the same price. But this also depends on the fact that there's perfect information on the price, that the consumers know all the prices all the firms are charging, and therefore they're able to compare all of them freely. So perfect information allows for greater competition, and this is our last characteristic of a perfectly competitive market. So in summary, a perfectly competitive market structure has very many firms, no differentiation of goods, low barriers to entry and exit, as well as perfect information. You can't screenshot this because you do need to memorize them for the exams, 
And again, that one memory trick is to always ask ourselves what leads to the most competition. So that is the end of this video. And in the next video, we'll cover how to draw and explain the perfect competition diagram, which is also required for your exams.